Thanks so much for tapping into this episode of Original Asherella. Today is my very first installment of my costume shop series. If you watched my last video, I'll let you guys know that I'm going to be doing a series of videos on Original Asherella from now till Halloween on DIY Halloween and cosplay costumes. I'm really excited about today's. It's the easiest of the series by far. You don't have to create anything. You don't have to make anything. Everything you need for this costume you probably already have around your house. And the things you don't are very inexpensive and you can get your hands on them anywhere. Okay, so everybody ready to find out whose costume we're gonna make today? We're gonna do Summer Smith from Rick and Morty. Uh, if you're a Rick and Morty fan, you know who Summer is. Um, it's Morty's older sister. She's a really big main character in the series. I love Rick and Morty. I've been a huge Rick and Morty fan from the first airing of the first season, and it was still a relatively like obscure, unknown show. But now there's not a day that goes by when I don't come across a Pickle Rick reference. Um, you know, I love Rick and Morty. I love that it's gained popularity. I love that that ensures we're getting at least 70 more episodes. Um, and I love dressing up like Summer. So there's only a few things that you need for this costume. Like I said, it's gonna be the easiest costume of the series by far. You don't have to cut, sew, tape, glue, anything. Um, super easy. Um, you guys can't see my table. I am my own cameraman, so I'm actually gonna lift it up. This is really all we need to be Summer. Um, first off, uh, Summer wears a pink tank top and white pants. So you're gonna need a pink, you know, relatively tight fitting tank top. You can find those anywhere from like Target, Walmart, wherever. You can find a pink tank top. This is actually just a Fruit of the Loom like basic tank. You're gonna need a white pair of pants. They can be regular like twill or linen pants or you can use white jeans but you do need them to be a little bit shorter. Summer's pants don't go all the way down to her ankles. So if you do have a long pair of white pants, you're gonna to wanna to cut them and cuff them to where they hit right above the ankle. You're gonna need a small pair of black sneakers. Like you don't wanna use big high top sneakers or anything like that. You need some pretty small light um, black sneakers. Um, you can use like black slip on bands work really well for this. These are kind of little knockoff kids. They are black with black laces. I'm already of the ginger persuasion, so I don't even really need to color my hair for this. But if you are not a redhead or in the redhead family naturally, um, you're gonna wanna get some orange or red temporary hair color. Um, you can use hair chalk, temporary dye, or just you know regular Halloween hairspray. I did get this. I'm gonna do a few highlights in my hair, but Normally, I don't even color my hair for summer. You're gonna need some gel, a hair holder, a curling iron or a hair straightener, and I'll tell you why just shortly. And you're also gonna need a purple phone case for your phone. Um, if you don't already have a purple phone case, uh, you can get one at the Dollar Tree or any dollar store. Like, they have them like by the bucketfuls now, and they're super cheap and you can almost always find a purple one. So, that's all you're gonna need for the summer costume. I'm gonna go ahead and change into the costume and then I'll show you how to do the hair and the makeup. Just a quick recap of everything you're gonna need for your Summer Smith from Rick and Morty costume. A basic pink tank top that's pretty tight fitting. White, above the ankle length pants or jeans, some hair gel, a purple phone case, a curling iron or straightening iron, a hair elastic, some temporary orange or red hairspray, and a pair of small black sneakers. All right, guys, I am here, and I am in my full Summer Smith attire. I'm going to get to the hair and the face in just a minute, but I'm going to have to pan down and show you because I'm my own cameraman. So I've got the pink basic tank top that's fitted, white ankle pants, and the little black sneakers.
Okay, so now I'm about to do my face and my hair to be Summer from Rick and Morty. Uh, Summer doesn't have any overwhelming facial features, so there's nothing like crazy you need to do like to your face. She doesn't have anything that's like overwhelming or noticeable. So I just do my normal makeup. You know, you just want to do like a regular base, a little bit of blush. Um, anytime you're doing an animated character, um, especially an anime character, some are, you know, it's not, that's not considered anime, but you want to outline your eyes as much as possible. I already have pretty big eyes, so when I put some eyeliner on, it just, like, makes them pop even more, so, uh, if you're doing an animated character, you know, make sure you put, like, a good amount of eyeliner on. And like I said, for summer, you're just gonna wanna do a regular base face. I'm gonna take my red lips off and just put like a light pink like lipstick on. Summer doesn't even really have lips. Um, she just kinda has like a black line for a mouth, but you know, we're humans and so we're trying to emulate a cartoon and you're not gonna look totally identical. But when I'm dressing up, as long as like, you know, you get like the spirit and the essence of the character across, that is so much more important than looking exactly identical to the character. So, like I said, I'm going to take my red lipstick off. And I'm going to put like a light pink kind of shimmery lipstick on. I don't want to put nothing on my lips, so I'm just going to put something like really light on. I'm sort of using the camera as a mirror too, so sorry if I make some weird faces. Okay, so I've got like a light shimmery pink on my lips and I'm gonna put like another, this is actually like a highlighter stick, but I like to use it on my mouth because it just like gives you a little extra shine. So I'm doing a little extra. Okay, and now my mouth's done. Summer's hairstyle is about as easy as you can get as far as like costume hairstyles go. She wears it back in like a smooth straight ponytail. She doesn't have any bangs, so if you have the bangs, you're gonna wanna like pin them back or push them back. So I'm just gonna take the hair elastic I said that we would need earlier and just pull my hair back into like a smooth straight ponytail. Just wanna gather it all up. Um, it's not a super high ponytail, but it's definitely not a low ponytail either. Like you don't want like a 1980s Madonna high ponytail, but it does need to be about like in the middle of your head, like a little bit higher than like the back of your head, but not totally on top, about like at your crown. So I'm just gonna smooth the lumps out. And put it up pretty tight. Once you've got it up, you know, you want to pull it a little bit tight, and I will pull it over to the side because, you know, she's an animated character, and when you see her, it's always to the side, so her ponytail is always a little bit to the side, so you don't want to have it right in the middle of the back of your head. Pull it, like, maybe a half an inch to one side or the other. Um, like I said earlier, Summer doesn't have any, like, major facial, like, features or anything, like, overwhelming that you're going to want to, like, accentuate for your costume. But she does have this little like kink flip in the end of her ponytail and whenever you're dressing up as characters for cosplay or just for Halloween, it's little details like that that make a huge difference. So I'm going to show you how to put that little kink in the end of your ponytail. So I've got my ponytail up, I'm going to brush any little tangles or anything that's in it out. My hair gets tangled really fast so it's already a little tangly. But okay, I've got a long, straight, smooth ponytail here. So I'm gonna take the ends. I'm gonna take a little bit of my gel that I said you would need earlier. This is actually like glitter hair gel. You can use plain hair gel. I just happen to have glitter hair gel right now. So I'm gonna smooth some of the gel through the ends of my hair. And as I'm doing that, I'm like twisting the ends together. Because her ponytail kind of comes down to a point on the end. I'm gonna put a little extra on the ends so they will stick together. 
My hair is not super thick, but it's not super thin either. If your hair is on the thicker side, you might need to use some, like, some extra hairspray or even maybe put like another little like um, tiny little rubber band at the end to hold it. But I'm not gonna need to do that. Like I'm just gonna twist it together, let the gel dry for a couple minutes, and then I'm gonna show you how to get that little kink flip in the end of your ponytail. My hair is up in a ponytail. I've got the ends twisted and gelled into kind of like a little point. And now this is where our curling iron and or straight iron is gonna come in. You're gonna take the end of your hair that you twisted and just a couple inches up from the very end, I don't know if you guys can see, it's pretty small little end. Um, just a couple inches up from the end, you're gonna twist it up, make sure it's getting twisted, fold it, and you're gonna take your curling iron or your hot iron and you're gonna make a crease in the end of your hair. That's how you're gonna get the little flip at the end of Summer's ponytail. Um, you might need to hit it again with the flat iron on the curling iron on the crease after you spray it if you use like the colored hairspray. If you're using some type of hair chalk or temporary like hair dye, you're not gonna have to worry about it. But um, if you use hairspray, you might have to hit it again just to like seal it in um this is a really fun costume to do like it will go over really well at like a Halloween party or a con um, and if you have a group of friends that you're going with you guys could do like a whole Rick and Morty themed thing I've got a couple of things that I'm going to show you at the end of the video that is in the same line as like Rick and Morty and you know you can get your whole crew to dress up Rick and Morty style you know you've got a friend that wants to be a Mr. Meesex with blue body paint or, you know, Pickle Rick in a giant pickle costume. I've actually seen one already this year. Not a Pickle Rick costume, but a giant pickle costume. And you know that's going to be converted into a Pickle Rick, like, as soon as somebody takes one off the shelf. Okay, so I've had the curling iron on my hair on a little crease for um, about a minute now. You, you know your hair, you know how much heat it can take and you can put into it. Um, I wouldn't want to leave mine on for much longer than that just because I don't want to like damage my hair But now the end of my ponytail has a little like flip in it um, I'm gonna take the orange hairspray and do some highlights on my ponytail I'm not gonna do that on camera because it's kind of messy and I need to go into the bathroom and put like a towel around me to do it But as soon as I'm done, you know, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have sprayed my hair with just regular Halloween like hairspray paint. Um, I'm definitely a lot more ginger than I was before. Um, a couple of tips, like if you're doing a different hair color than what your normal hair color is, if you're wearing a wig, if you're using temporary hair dye, if you're using spray or hair chalk, hit your eyebrows with it just a skosh. Like it looks so much better if your eyebrows match your hair color or have a highlight of what your hair color is. Um, it will make all the difference in the world in your costume, and it's just really good like cosplay and costuming advice. So I am now officially dressed as Summer Smith from Rick and Morty. I've got my Morty in hand. I've got my cell phone with the purple cell phone case. Um, Summer is barely without it, so I am ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this costume, and coming up I've got a couple more Rick and Morty things I'm going to show you. It's me, original Asherella, as Summer Smith from Rick and Morty. And like I said, I had a couple more things that I was going to show you at the end of the video, and this is it. Um, I don't know if you noticed in the background the gigantic Rick and Morty heads. Um, these I actually found at my local Walmart of all places. I was like, dang, wall to the mart. Like, when are you carrying Rick and Morty stuff? But like I said, Rick and Morty is so popular lately. It is everywhere. You can find Rick and Morty everywhere. So if you and your whole crew want to do a Rick and Morty thing, these Rick and Morty mascot heads are available at Walmarts across the country. Um, I look super attractive as Rick, right? <laughs> I might look a little bit better as Morty. I did do an evil Morty cosplay with wires out of my eyes. Oh, jeez. Anyway. Get a couple of your friends, get these bad boys, dress up as Summer, 
get a uh, Snuffles or Snowball plushie and you're good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click the notification button so you know when I'm uploading new videos. And follow me on Instagram at Original Asherella. If you want to email me directly, you can at OriginalAsherella at gmail.com. Thanks!